If you want to add more screw boxes to it, they clip in the back here. Hey guys, Brad here. And today we're going to be looking at something that I've been waiting months, almost maybe a year for. And I'll tell you why I'm excited, but also why I'm a little bit disappointed. So we'll get into that. Make sure you subscribe, hit that notify bell and give me a thumbs up because it definitely helps out the video. So we're going to be looking at DeWalt T-Stack. Okay. So come on in here. This is just a typical T-Stack box and on top is a couple bit kits. Now we've looked at this one before, but this one right here is new to me. This has been in the States for quite a while now, but it's finally here in Canada. I picked this up at Lowe's. I'll leave some links down below for Amazon and Home Depot if they have it. I'm not too sure, but um, let's take a closer look at this. So it does connect to a T-Stack box, which is why I love it. All right, just snaps right on top there. And it'll fit these other screw boxes, no problem. You know, if you want to add more screw boxes to it, they clip in the back here. So that just clips in this little piece of plastic. Open that tab and lock it in. So pretty sweet how you can connect all that. This case here is my main go-to case for the last, uh, I don't know, six or eight months. It's been pretty good. Now it's clipped in as well. It's got a clip in the back. So you just slide it in, drop it down, close this latch. You just have to remember these latches are what keep this lid closed. Okay. So if you're opening and closing them because you got stuff on top, you got to be careful that you don't pick this up and everything kind of falls out. So initial thoughts are it's a lot smaller than I was expecting. I just thought it would be maybe the size of an actual lid of a T-Stack. As you saw there, it's a little bit smaller. Um, so I think that's sort of a, a mistake because you could have fit a lot more stuff in here, especially because it's clipping onto a T-Stack. So why not just make it the full size? Secondly, this plastic on top, it feels to me, just this type of plastic feels brittle. It's got that feeling, you know, where you drop a hammer on it, it's going to shatter. The plastic over on this case is different. It really doesn't feel the same. And maybe I'm just making stuff up. I don't know, but this just feels a little bit stronger, or just a little bit different. So, that's my initial thought on that. Now, when you look at the case, it's a little bit for me underwhelming. Um, it's got a bunch of bits in it. I think it's, I can't even remember how many are in here. It's like a hundred or something, but I never use these small little drivers. I, I don't, I just have boxes and boxes of these things. I just don't use them. They're, I don't like using these adapters and then you grab a bit and you put it in your adapter and then you start driving in whatever. Be the reason being is a lot of screws, like I, I commonly use a three inch uh, zinc screw. A lot of the times the bit just gets stuck in the screw and then the you pull out and the bit is still in the screw or it falls out and you've lost it and game over. So. I don't really like these bits one bit, <laughs> no pun intended. All right. But I do love these little cases and I really do like DeWalt's, you know, impact ready bits right here, these longer ones. And then these ones are pretty good. I haven't tried out their actual drill bits. I'm sure they're going to be fine for wood. They're, you know, they're probably just a regular bit. I would have liked to have seen these bits not designed for the drill, but actually have, you know, be impact ready like this. That would have been a, a way better feature. I do love how all this sort of fits together. Um, you know, DeWalt's definitely improved on that. So these bits all fit in here really, really nicely. Here's sort of my issue. I've been wanting this for like a year. It's smaller than I 
than I thought. Now I've been using this kit and I want to show you when you open this up it's got bits on the lid and in the base. Now if I line this up, okay, it's, it's got four bays. It's basically identical to this kit except we've got like what two and a half inches there. So this is like $49 and I think I got this for maybe 30 bucks or something like that. And quite honestly, this is smaller. I can throw this in my bag, which is really nice. I don't have to be pulling around a tea stack. This thing is too big for my bag. So I'm really only going to put this on a tea stack and I'm definitely going to rip this all apart and put in my own bits. So if DeWalt had made this bigger, and I'll just show you again in case you missed it at the beginning of the video, the size of this, see that's the size. So they could have come up two more inches, they could have come back inch and a half, width wise we're fine, but why not utilize this and make it a proper case instead of this skinny little thing which is basically the same size as this. The only difference is I don't have these drill bits in here, but I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just kind of, kind of disappointed. I love the idea that it can connect to a T-Stack, but other than that, I'm super disappointed with this kit. And let's talk about the bits too. Okay. It's like they just put in a bunch of uh, Robertson number twos. And I know this is different than the ones in the States from what I've heard, because you guys are using Phillips a lot more than, than us. So as far as Phillips bits, there's four right here and we've got one here and that's it. And then we've just got like Robertson's number twos, one, two, three, four of them there. We've got one number one. And then over here, we're into some Torx bits and another Robertson, and then we've got three more Robertsons here. Like, come on, <laughs> how many Robertsons do you think I need? Like, like let's, let's get into some more specialty bits. You know, like here I've customized my case. I've got really, really nice uh, tile bits in here. I've got a great extension bit. This is really nice. I've got really long bits, which is perfect. It came with this kit. This one doesn't have any long bits. It's just, this is the longest bit right here. Okay. So there's only three sizes in here. That's all you get. Whereas this kit came with uh, four sizes. So this kit feels like it was thought out a lot better. I have customized it. As you can see, I've kind of put in my own bits here and these ones I dumped all their small bits and I just put my own stuff in but I, I did a review on this I think as well so we'll leave a link down below but you know this this kit I kind of have everything I need and this one if they had gone bigger then they could have done another row of stuff um, it just it just seems like no one really thought this through at R&D like I don't know like contact me I'll tell you how to build this stuff like it just doesn't make sense to me so um, yeah those are my thoughts guys I'm just a little annoyed that I you know not only did I spend $49 on it but now I just got to like totally customize it because it really doesn't have stuff in here that I'm gonna that I'm gonna use that much like this kit here I mean, it's, it's got a bunch of little Phillips bits and some T15s and things like that, but like, it's just, it's just kind of weak, you know? And this one here, you can't even get into it. I have to flip it around. I got to get a screwdriver and get underneath, but you can't even get into it. So I got to turn it around. So the opening is on this side and this is how it came. I haven't, I haven't adjusted anything in this kit yet. But um, yeah, it's my honest opinion. There you go. 
So I want to hear some uh, comments down below. What do you think of this? I've already heard some comments from some guys I know and they don't like it. Um, and I get it. I get it. This summer I'll be using it just because I'll, I'll attach it to my T stack box and I'll use it for, you know, fencing or whatever. But, um, we'll see if it'll last a year and then I'll do another review. If it gets smashed up, I'll definitely be posting on YouTube or, or Instagram. So yeah, leave some comments, subscribe, hit that notified bell. Till next time, keep on crushing it. We'll catch you later.